So this is the cocktail engine. I had it set up for a party last night and I realized I never got a really good video of it in operation. So here we go. This, I made this last year for the 2013 Barbot event. Um, and I'm probably taking it back again this year since I don't have anything else new. And um, I've actually been really happy with it in the time I've had it. It, uh, and what is it? Well, it's a robotic cocktail maker. But in this case, it's an electromechanical punch card driven cocktail maker. Basically, you take a punch card, punch out the ingredients you want. That goes into the reader, pull the lever down. That makes electrical connections going through the ribbon cable and goes up to one of 16 different um, valve assemblies. Now each valve assembly has a valve on one side and the server on the other connected by chain drive. Now that electrical connection I was talking about, there's a series of boards on one for each channel and it's just a 555 timer circuit. It's quite simple. Um, it uses this custom board that I had made and sells a kit actually. And by making the connection through here, you're just changing the timing constant on the 555, which is creating a pulse width chain, which goes to these servos. So in its default mode, they want to be in one position, the off position. But then when you make the connection through there, they want to go to their opposite direction, their opposite setting, about 180 degrees away, going through this two to one reduction, which turns this valve 90 degrees. Closed, open, closed. Pretty simple. Then you have all of the ingredients up here on top in these reservoirs. And it's a simple gravity feed system from there down through the valves and then into the middle here into the funnel there in the center. Flows through there into the waiting cup below. And that's the cocktail engine. Now we just set it up with a whole new recipe set. No more rum and cokes. Um, gets a bit, getting a bit fancier here and the results are pretty good. So I thought I would show it off by testing it to its limit by making a brandy Sazerac. And had you told me before that I could make a halfway decent brandy Sazerac through this system, I would not have believed it, but it's actually not bad at all. So what does it have in it? A0, A1, which is two units of rye, C0, C1, punch now, C0, C1, and that is two units of brandy, C3, which is one unit of simple syrup, and then D3, which is absinthe. Now, it's not actually one unit of simple syrup because we've installed these, those valves in line and they're just used for throttling the flow because that's lemon juice and absinthe and those are other overpowering components. You don't want one unit of those in, in the same way. So those are throttled down so it's much less than the others and works out pretty well. So anyway, there is our completed card. Let's see if I hold up to the light. Maybe you can see, no, nah, it's just washing out. Anyway, some of the holes are punched, some aren't. You put that into the reader, uh, power's on on the power supply. We will activate main power on this knife switch. And now the servos are active and they're all staying in their home position, the off position. I will pull this and we'll watch a drink flow. Just like that. Show it from up here. And that's it. And that is a very, that's actually a whole lot of Brandy Sazerac. Um, these are not light drinks, but uh, here we go. And honestly, that's, uh, I've had far worse than bars. I'm pretty shocked. So, Hopefully you can come see it at this year's Barbot, or if not, um, well, I don't know. You'd have to come to one of my parties and that's probably not happening. So there it is, the 
cocktail engine. 